I am and the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim, when it is in your power to do it for him. Say not to your neighbor, Go, and come again tomorrow I will give, when you can give it once. Plot no evil against your neighbor, against one who lives at peace with you. Quarrel not with a man without cause, with the one who has done you no harm. Envy not the lawless man, and choose none of his ways. To the Lord, the perverse one is an abomination, but with the upright is his friendship. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but the dwelling of the just he blesses. When dealing with the arrogant, he is stern, but to the humble he shows kindness. The word of the Lord. The sponsor of Psalm. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. The just, the just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the earth is in his heart and slanders not with his tongue, the just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the re Reprobate is despised while he honors those who fear the Lord. The just one shall live on their own mountain, O Lord. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. The just one shall live on their own mountain, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to the Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear to anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. May I begin first by wishing Michael Metter a happy birthday. Saw that 60 years old. Congratulations. Just a baby. 
You're just a baby. <laughs> yes. As I was reading the first reading this morning, the book of Proverbs, it's, it's a very beautiful book. And I would encourage you, if you ever have time, please take the time to read it. It has beautiful lessons. And as George read this morning, Plot no evil against your neighbor, against one who lives at peace with you. Quarrel not with a man without cause, with one who has done you no harm. And as I was reflecting upon that this morning, I had to think of the times when I started uh, trouble with uh, a very gossipy mouth. And I asked myself this morning, why? If I'm at peace with someone, why would I start trouble? And the more I reflected, I came to one answer, and it's similar to what we spoke about over the weekend in love of self. So often when I purposely gossiped and started trouble, it's because of me, my own insecurity, my own feeling of inadequacy compared to someone. I did not appreciate the fact that, well, so what if they have a gift or a talent that is better than mine? Big deal. Instead of thanking God that they can do what they do, and they do it for his praise and glory, I hope, why did I try to tear them down? Why did I try to feed my own inadequacy? When we start to appreciate ourselves and love ourselves for who we are, then we can appreciate others and love them for who they are. I know realistically, and it's good that Michael is here at 60, that as I progress toward his age, God, <laughs> how long would that take? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. That naturally my own skills and talents will start to diminish. That's just a given. Uh, but I should not take that and say, oh, now that I'm not as good as I used to be, woe is me. No. Okay, so we're not as good. Big deal. But yet, instead of focusing in on the negative, look at where we have come from. Sure. When I was in my 20s, I could run a few miles. That, that was nice. But yet, I wasn't as wise as I am now through experiences, through prayer, through <coughs> knowledge. So instead of focusing in on the negative, oh, I remember when I used to, and that's a great word in the South, used to could. We used to could. <laughs> but give praise to God for who I am now. I'm not the fastest a foot. I'm not the swiftest of mine, but I'm a lot better than I used to be. And for that, I give praise to God. And for you who are here, for those who watch, give praise to who you are today. Look at the experience that have made you who you are. Thank God that we're still not the same 20-year-old person who makes those mistakes, we've learned. And look at the blessings that we have received since. Many of you have beautiful families and you are great examples to your children and grandchildren. 
I don't think you'd want to give that up to go back and be young again with all your uh, abilities. No. Give thanks to God for who you are today. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way, those from our families, our parishes, those who are homebound in hospitals, nursing homes, and we remember those, our extended family, who watch on video today for their needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray that the infant of Prague will continue to watch over the finances of our parishes. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the glory be prayer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. (laughs) 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to <clears throat> eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the and the power and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <coughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Come, this is the Lord, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through this world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, His angels, and His saints. 